Hyatt Sue here has been tagged to do the Stephen King tag by Melinda at Web of Stories. I think it's funny because I just put up a tag about tags being snarky saying that nobody ever tags me and then I got tagged like the very day that I put that up. That is hilarious to me. I don't know. Anyway, I got tagged on the Stephen King tag. So I'm going to do that real quick. I plan to put this up on Halloween. So how fitting is that? Perfect. My problem is, is that I'm not a huge Stephen King reader or I would say I'm a fan, but like not a crazy fan. I'm not a huge horror reader especially I, I love suspense books which I feel like are kind of different than horror or they're kind of a brand of horror that's a little more tame or something anyway I'm not huge into the gory graphic stuff which I feel like Stephen King kind of is in some of his books anyway but I thought I would go through this and just kind of have a little Stephen King chit chat okay there's a lot of questions on this tag and I'm not gonna be able to answer most of them we'll just go through it and see how it goes Oh, the original tag. I didn't write it down and I can't remember. I will be sure to link to whoever created this tag in the description as soon as I look that up and find out. How did you get into reading Stephen King? I feel like I've known of Stephen King my whole life, so I don't really know how I got into him or heard of him or started reading him. I feel like maybe when I was in high school, maybe even junior high, he was starting to be a big name. And I, I didn't feel at that time, even in high school, I didn't feel like this was something I could be reading or should be reading or something. Like I, he had some sort of a connotation in my mind of the big, bad, scary books. Mm, I was just not gonna go there. I had other things I wanted to read anyway. So I was never really that interested until later on, probably only just a few years ago, when I started jumping more into the reading thing and trying to read all the things. And I, I started reading some. I don't, I don't remember what year or what prompted me to go for it at that point. What was the first Stephen King book you read? So I'm not exactly sure, but I think it's possible that The Stand is the first one I read, which I find hilarious because it's kind of one of his, I don't know, the, his most iconic, I, but I don't know. How would you describe The Stand in, as far as all the Stephen King books are, are? Anyway, it could be this one, but it also could be this one because I feel like I remember reading this one on writing by Stephen King before I'd read any of his books. I feel like I remember thinking that and thinking that was hilarious. So between those two, I think one of those two was the first one. Whoa, have you read a Stephen King book published the year you were born? People, you do realize how old I am, right? Okay, his first book was published in 1974. It was called Carrie. I was nine years old in 1974. So I, there's no possible way that I could read a book published the year I was born. Now that we've divulged all of that, which of his books do you prefer to collect? Hardcover editions, paperbacks, or it just doesn't matter to you? Obviously, I'm not an, enough of a fan for this to matter. This is my Stephen King collection. It is very all over the place. Am I right? We'll get to this in a minute. How many of his books are on your bookshelf? Okay, we just these are the ones on my bookshelf so it's a nice little stat but obviously it's i mean nothing even close to very many um do you want to know what, what they are i don't think that's an actual question but since i have such a few amount i'll show you the mist teeny little one i read this one for a readathon way back in the day in one day for the 24-hour readathon and it's creepy and nice. I have this one, Hearts in Atlantis. It's the movie cover, I guess. I know nothing about this one. I probably picked it up because it was at a book sale or something. And I'm like, oh, Stephen King, book I haven't read, should pick it up. Is this one good? I don't even know. I have The Stand, which I already mentioned. I have On Writing, which I already mentioned. I love this one. It is so good if you wanna know his story and his writing tips. And I have The Dark Tower, The Gunslinger. Is this the first one of the Dark Tower series? Is this the first one? I don't, I think it's the first one. And I've always been intrigued by this because I just love that cover. I feel like it's not gonna be a gore, gory horror thing. So yeah. And then I have Under the Dome, which I've mentioned in a few other things lately. Look, it even has, yeah. Um, so I did this as a read along. Oh, it's because I, I broke them up into sections because we chunked it up so that we could figure out how much to read for our read along. Yeah, that's what that's about. I did this with my friend, Jenny. 
It was a long time ago. You can look it up on my blog, all the questions we thought of and all the discussions we had. And then I have this one that I just barely bought called Fairy Tale, which is his most recently published book, except for there's one that's coming out also this year because he, what, writes two or three books a year? I don't know. This one intrigues me and I wanted to do another read along. Jenny says she will read it with me. And I, I asked back in, I don't remember when, somewhere I said, who wants to do this read along with me? And I got, mm -hmm. so maybe me and Jenny will do it someday, but I don't know when. Jenny, when should we do this? Because it's kind of a commitment too. And it's scary because it's a little bit long, but not that long. So those were none of the questions. Let's see, which books are we going to Stephen King is known for long and gory novels. Which of his novels was tough for you to read? That's why I, oh, I've been, I've shied away from it for so many years. Long and gory, long and gory. But the ones I have read were not hard. Under the Dome is pretty long and it was gory and it had rough moments, but it wasn't hard. So I'm probably gonna handle any of them. My daughter, Tori, just finished reading Pet Cemetery. I don't know if I can handle that one, but she said it was amazing and so fun. So maybe. Have you DNF'd a Stephen King book? Well, the ones I've all tried to read, I have finished. So I guess I could say no to that one. Have you read his books in publication order? No. And I don't think that was anywhere near a goal of mine. My son is really into Stephen King suddenly, and I think he would love to read a lot of them. I don't think he would want to read them in order, but he looked at the list and he was kind of blown away. I looked at the list, I was kind of blown away. There's so many more books out there than we even think of him of, of his. It's insane. What Stephen King books would you like to read but haven't read yet? Well, mostly all of them, mostly all of them. I don't really have, like I said, the Dark Tower series. The Dark Tower series, maybe. I need to, I need to try this one. Look, I can handle that, guys. I want to read all the ones that that are hyped up a lot and that people love. Name a book he has written that other people liked, but you didn't. I can't really answer that one. Name a book of his you think is underrated. I can't really answer that one. Creepy characters, which Stephen King characters would you like to have dinner with? I probably none of them. Ooh, his characters are all, isn't, wasn't there a cool character in the stand? I don't remember the characters in the stand. I read this like 15 years ago, so. There's a guy in here that I think might, might like. Maybe go. Maybe I'll have dinner with him. Has Stephen King inspired you to start reading and writing? Okay, well, no, because I was already reading and writing. But this book on writing is very inspiring. And I think it was one of the first writing books I read. So I, you could say that it helped to inspire me to keep doing the writing. I'll say that. If you were able to meet Stephen King, what would you say? He has one of those brains that I would love to ask him, how does he sleep at night if there's that much going on in his brain? Can he sleep at night? Does he freak himself out? Does he have nightmares and then he wakes up and writes about them? I mean, I'm, I'm curious about how he calms that brain down, really. Is that a weird question? But that's what I would want to ask him. Have you ever been to Bangor, Maine? You guys, I might be going this very week. I'm putting this up on Halloween. At this moment of seeing this video, I am somewhere, I'm in Boston, I think. I'm in Salem. We're going to Salem on Halloween. You know, where the witches happen. Bangor, Maine might be in our itinerary somehow, sometime, maybe. I don't know what we're doing. We're gonna go to Maine and I don't know what we're gonna see there. Till it happens. It's gonna be a little bit of a wing it trip, so it could happen. But I find that question funny because seriously, it might be happening the week after this is uploaded. So I'll let you know. I will put it on shorts. I, like I've been telling people, I'm going to document some of the things I see, especially the literary things on the shorts, okay? Which do you prefer more, his books or movies? Books, 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 books. His movies are too scary. Name your favorite Stephen King movie. I haven't really watched any that I know of. I've watched parts of The Shining. I don't know that I've actually watched the entire movie of The Shining, but much of it, I think. Misery looks like a great one. But is that that's the name of it, right? I don't even know. What if I'm getting that wrong? That one looks nice and creepy and scary too. But I don't want to watch any of those really gory ones, but the suspense ones, I'm all about that, as I said. All right, I wanted to go through that really fast. Did I go through it fast? Oh man, it's not that fast still. Thanks for tagging me, Melinda. Thanks for the tag, whoever did it. And if you want to do this one, please go for it. If you are a huge Stephen King person and you could answer all those questions way better than I did, I would love to hear them. I especially would love to know which ones I should concentrate on. Other than fairy tale, which I bought, so I have to read it. 
what other ones of his are like the biggest, the hypest, the bestest, the whatever. Tell me. Let me know in comments. Happy Halloween, everyone. And until next time, happy reading.